Oh, hello audience. My name is... Wait a minute. That's the wrong intro. I don't do that anymore. Anyways, it's Kalubin here, and I am doing a fresh recording of my voice after just beating Absolute Radiance in Hollow Knight on uh, Radiant Difficulty in the Hall of Gods. Feels incredible. I mean, uh, I want to give a huge shout out to this uh, Redditor, Wayu underscore, made a post about beat Absolute Radiance nine times in a row. And he had a link to a video. He gives a lot of tips and tricks and how to beat them. I looked at that. I watched the video. I saw some different things that I could do to play differently. I used this charm build. I did that and like I spent an hour fighting her, which I thought it was going to take longer. And I was just doing it casually. I was like, eh, I'll try it. See how it goes. See how far I can go. Always react to her. Let her do an attack. React to it and then get ahead in if you can. If you can't, then you just wait another time. Getting to second phase took a little bit because I was trying to get used to the fight again. Once I got to second phase, I was pretty much fine until the orb spawn. The only problem with that is I typically jump too high and the tip was to jump low and let the platforms save your life. With those tips and doing that, I managed to survive the second phase and then the climb. And my heart is beating like crazy because the climb sucks. And I got past the climb, got to the top, and I'm like, okay, I'm at the top. I'm here. Like, I'm getting myself a little bit too hyped. And another tip that he mentioned at the very top where she teleports to one side where there's a mini platform and she can teleport into the middle and then she teleports to the other platform. You only focus on one side and mentions how you just focus on that platform and the center. Um, if she moves over to the right side, then just let her go over there, dodge the orb, make it despawn, stuff like that, and just, and just rely on the pogo. And I beat her. Like, first time up the climb, first time at the top, and I beat her. Damn. Uh, this feels incredible. Uh, to actually be able to beat her on Radiant. I thought, like, I'm gonna be every boss Radiant in the Hall of Gods except for Radiant. That's the only one I won't be able to get the final version of the Void Hearts. But I beat her, and I still have five bosses to go, but, you know, it's just time and practice, and really the only one I'm gonna have trouble with is Grey Prince Zoe and Pure Vessel, and then White Defender and Markoth. Markoth is obviously gonna suck, but Radiance is out of the way, so I know this is possible, and I'm really excited to know that I can beat all the bosses on Radiant. That's been one of my main goals, especially until Hollow Knight Silkshawk comes out. Feels good, dude! Ah.